Hello guys, welcome. Leagues is out in 1 hour and 45 minutes. The tasks have been released, the relics have been released. I am so excited. And now it's just going to be a matter of preparing, trying to figure out what tasks I'm doing in the first few hours to try and get out of the first region. There is this website called osleague.tools and it allows you to scroll through the different tasks and it's just really helpful for organizing what you're going to do next and for now I'm just going to prepare a load of general tasks in the starting areas to try and uh, make sure I'm not so lost when everything starts so <laughs> yahoo I'm going to be using a modified version of somebody's guide that has already been made by a guy called Double Shine so thanks Double Shine this is my modified version with a few extra tasks thrown in from foes list and then catering slightly towards when we go to Zia for our first region. There we go. Looking pretty sexy. This is my tasks. These are my areas, which I will hope to be unlocking in not too long. <laughs> wow, this is nice. Love the color scheme. What do I have to do? I have to unlock Karamja. Let's go indeed. Yahoo! Not the relics. Do I get to pick one? I'm going with Trickster. Yes, sir. Uh, the Sages Greaves. Infinite agility XP. Okay, let's set up the hotkeys and stuff and let's get on our way. I'm missing out on big XP. Buy account check. Just getting all the answers wrong. Gonna go and get my 10k, some fancy boots. Gotta go all the way down to the bottom floor. And of course, I have these Greaves on which are giving me agility XP as I go through this, which is just amazing. I don't have to do agility. I could just get XP as I go. Yahoo. Somebody shrimp is on the floor. Oh no. Oh, just tank to four. Mate, these cattle ponds are absolute monsters. Holy oh, Anku's hit eight. How he's made it through with no hits. Yeah, strong old security is, is sketch. Ancier boots. The Karamja waypoint. Do some tasks over there. Hopefully pick up a pineapple before people have yoinked all the pineapples from the spawns. Oh, that is cool. That's very cool. Lots of people going north because that's what the normal guide says. Here is a pineapple right for the picking. Do you I? Oh no, I died. Fuck me. <laughs> 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 Six. <laughs> Fuck this, I'm not doing stronger security on my mobile. Here we are getting first task from Duridel. Spiders, that's an easy one. Oh, I need to buy a spiny helmet as well, which gives me some extra points. Now we are off to back to Lumbridge to do some stuff there, which I have no idea. I'm just following this task list. We are currently here at number 11. Duke Horatio coming up. Now it is time. Oh my god, look at all this. It's time to abuse the uh, pickpocketing relic, which means I never fail pickpockets and I always get times 12, sorry, not times 12, times two from the evening men. It's automatic. I don't have to press anything and I never fail. This is amazing. Anytime today. Level two defense. Bury the bones. There we go. Now we just stay in here until we've got five defense. And then we are off to the cows to milk some cows. Look at all these points coming in. We are absolutely flying. 320 points left until the next relic, which will be the fairy ring teleports that allows us to teleport to any fairy ring and any leprechaun. It's going to introduce some really weird and cool strats. So pretty cool. And there we have level five defense, meaning I can equip my spiny helm if I'd remembered to bring it out of the bank. Look at that. Unbelievable efficiency. Oh, oh, I'm level 20 agility already. That's big. Oh, yeah, yeah, rub it in. Behind. How are you 20? I've already missed so many ticks right around here. Oh. <laughs> Talking about missing ticks and people can't even get the fuck in the game. <laughs> First mark of grace. Come to daddy. Oh, no. Yeah, he's got... He's got what call it the auto bank relic, and he's 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 decided that he's just going to AFK at number three. Oh, he's getting slammed. Oh, he's <laughs> what's he called? Eyelid Kobos. He's down. 
Oh, what is that death animation? <laughs> no, he like crumbled. Level 30, agility. Just gonna AFK this man. So weird. Just gonna AFK some pickpocketing. Get up to level 20, I think, which you need for hand members. Let's just double check that. Oh, it's only 15. And I can open the guide while I'm pickpocketing. What is this easy scape? And that is everything that I need. That's 15 thieving. 31 agility. Total level 125. Everything's flying in. Just obtained my steel pickaxe from the hand members. Everything's noted, of course. Invent space is an issue. We are now moving well down into the points. We are looking to fletch some arrow shafts and then go back to Drainer, I guess. Here we are. I'm going to unlock my first relic. There is flight. Teleport to any fairy ring, spirit tree or tool leprechaun that you have access to. I'm actually really close to the next uh, to the next relic. I think I can pickpocket. Can I pickpocket this guard? Or is that too far off? 40 thieving to pickpocket that bad boy. But yeah, I am only 15 tasks away from the next area. And then I'll be off to see her to try and get to Winter Tart as soon as possible. It's not even, I've used it once and I don't even need it anymore because I have this fairy mushroom ring thing. And I'm running out of intimate space, so that's going to have to be destroyed. We are now going to go to Varrock. And we have 13 tasks left to go. Let's just go and smash those out. Time for a bit of museum quiz. Is huge XP. That is it, ladies and gents. That's the first region unlockable. And we are going straight to Current, where we're going to farm Wintertop for all its juicy points and XP. Absolutely massive. Let's teleport there right now. I need 50 fire making, and I'm a long way off that. So I think I'm just going to chop oak logs. Until then, and burn all of those. Should be pretty fast. In the meantime, while I just think about a rough plan, I'm gonna AFK some thieving. The mini games things are boosted by the mini games points and the favor are boosted by three times at the current tier. So instead of needing like 550 buckets, I only need 150 buckets. And fortunately, thanks to my greaves, I think I can. Oh, 45. Never lucky! The Furious. Fertilizer for the Hosidious Favor. It's actually quite a lot of farming XP. Normally it only gives you 2 XP, but it's just so nice because it skipped all the boring early levels. Just gonna talk to the clerk. Yes, deposit my fertilizer. Straight up to 65%. Wahoo! That's gonna give me access to the farming guild. I need 45 farming to get into that though. And I've decided there's probably a good idea to go for Xerix Talisman so I can teleport around Karanda easily. For that, we're going to go to Stone Chests, which are 62 thieving, I believe. And we never fail them and we never get kicked out with Trickster. So that's just going to be the nicest way to go and get those. So I'm just going to AFK some guards for a bit, go from 49 to 62 thieving. First level 60. Massive points. Stone chests with 64 thieving and we're going to try and get the Xerix Talisman and some fangs along the way. Shame that these aren't doubled. I thought these would be doubled. Oh, I've got it. Lol. <laughs> There's no way he's got it. Can <laughs> <laughs> the Barry account is come off? <laughs> That is my first level 70. Oh, I got it. <clears throat> I got it. Xerix Talisman, baby. Now I'm probably one of the first people to thieve from a gem stall because I went kind of overrate on that. Yeah, boy. Stolen a gem gets me the new relic. We're going to be unlocking Fire Sail. Which means that all shops that use coins as currency are now free. Can't sell stuff back to the shops to get coins, but I can just buy infinite stuff. And we also unlock the Crystal of Memoirs, also known as Last Recall, which allows us to teleport to the place that we last teleported from. Um, it's got a cooldown of six minutes and doesn't look like there's any XP or points boost. So yeah, let's get this one. Okay, 
Here we go, fire sale. Massive crystal on memoirs. Memoirs, memories. Memories. Right, we're now off to Varok. Um, I'm going to teleport there using my tool leprechaun straight to Varok. We're going to buy just a crap ton of runes, then sell them for Tockle at the Tazar shop, and then buy a load of items using the Tockle. Killing a Tazar is a task as well, isn't it? Yep. Probably not a ranger though, that's not ideal. Oh, I'm dead. Onyx purchased 200 points. Jesus. Let's buy one of all of these. I oh, don't even have room. Now we're going to finish the Client of Corinth. Finish off the Hosidius Favourite. And then we should be good to access the Farming Guild when we have a bit more farming XP. And also we can go to Winter Tart with Runax. It's going to be very nice. Here we have the Hosidius quest completed. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Burn up to nine logs at once with the trickster relic. There is a task to chop some logs with a rune axe, and obviously it's just going to be faster if I get a rune axe and an adi axe and a mithril axe. So we're going to go to the Enchanted Valley and farm out some nature spirits for those. And it's also going to be nice because nature runes are actually kind of difficult to get. Um... I don't know how we've managed to do this, but yeah, it's almost impossible to get hold of any nature runes. So these are going to drop quite a few, and that's going to be really good for us. Oh, just got myself an Adi Axe. That's a nice upgrade. Now we just need the rune axe. Massive Guam Leaf. 10 points. Massive. 100 logs burned, 100 logs chopped, 80 points. I'm close to the next relic, which will be the combat one. So that's pretty big. And now that I'm done prepping for Winter Tart, which admittedly is taking longer than I wanted it to, we're going to finally go and get a bit of crafting using the charter ship. And then once we've done the crafting, we can make a games necklace and then we're going to go to Winter Tart and grind that out. All right, see you later. 40 attack some 30 combat and wield that gives us some points just need to unnote this mithril item using last recall let's equip that there we go points are raining in and we're nearly at tier four a few gems with my massive tockle stack and my oh my the crafting xp this is so nice 100 unpowered orbs crafted Crafting has gone up from 1 to 50 in like 10 minutes, which is just amazing. There we go. That's another 40 points in the bag. Now I'm going to do 9 laps of Varok. 10 laps of the Varok course completed. Oh my, I only have 10 more points for the next relic. What can I do that's really easy? Oh, I know. I can go and slash the web in Varok sewers. That's super easy. Any time today. <laughs> Get me out. Tier 4 has been unlocked. I don't even know what to pick, man. Gonna have to think about this. With Fire Cell, uh, you can buy... Well, I think, to be honest, just in leagues in general, you can buy an infinite amount of ramp ones from this boy, I think. Yeah, yeah. Just set the left click to 50. And we can just buy a Karamba and Star Hearts content. That is a lot of farming XP, straight up to 48 farming. And I can now enter the farming guild. Hey, hey boy, inside the farming guild. I've been sat on this for a while. I'm going melee. Basically, when you unlock melee, um, or at least anything at this comp, that's why I turn the sound off, because if everybody's leveling up at this farm, at <laughs> this uh, fishing spot, uh, items will be three times as common, but more importantly, your melee speed just doubles, save 90% of charges, you're immune to status effects, 
10% chance to deal double damage, which is critical hit. Melee accuracy increased by 50%, and your defense in all styles is increased by 50%. So looking forward to this. I'm now going to AFK some woodcutting and get a load of arrow shafts because it's zero time fletching XP that I can do while I'm running around doing various jogging activities. Um, and also it might be worth to stay here until 60 woodcutting because then I can go inside the woodcutting guild, which is points. I can get a rune axe, which is points. And it's a rune axe. I'm just a little bit overwhelmed. I'm not really sure where to go. Like, there's no XP multiplier until the next uh, Relic Unlock in 1,800 points, which is double the amount of points that I have now. And yeah, I just have no clear path because it doesn't really make sense to grind out stupid skilling grinds like Wintertop. Um, I didn't even get to Wintertop just because it's a massive sink of time and you barely get any points as it turns out. You get lots of XP. So I'm just going to go around doing like the favor and just trying to tick off points that uh, I can see on the task list. I'm, I'm currently like look browsing this thing with all these tasks that I have yet to do. And um, also the Trailblazer wiki page. But, you know, it's just a bit overwhelming. So we're just going to do these uh, books for now. And there's two tasks for handing in 25 and 50. And then there's a free task for handing in one. So I'm just going to do this, fletch some arrows along the way. Yeah, and now it's just the grind to tier 5. That's where... XP's multiplied, mini game points are multiplied. I will go to Tithe Farm after that, and then we are absolutely chilling. And that, my friends, is 100% Arceus favor. I've not even handed in 25 books yet. And my friends, is 50 books handed in, and we've got a few more spare. Um, now I'm going to go to Tithe Farm. I realize I'm actually only 24 tasks away from unlocking the next region, which is going to be Asgarnia. I think I'm going to focus doing like easier tasks, but just bulk, do lots of them, get the next area unlocked and then milk it for all the easy tasks and just tasks that don't take that much time, but give you points. That's the idea. So we're going for Asgarnia after this set of seeds. Golavanovas. Six levels. Is that it? Now what we do, right, is we just plant the hundred seeds, but we don't actually farm them. Just reach 750 total, level 50 magic. I'm here at the Isle of Souls chest underneath the Island of Souls. Just about to kill this blue dragon, and then I'm going to farm this bad boy chest for some nice loot. 40 points for that. I think I get also points for if I don't get nuked by this guy. Get some points for burying these bones. There we go. 40 points again. Now we're just opening this bad boy and we need to get a dark key from here, which gives more points when you actually open the dark chest with the dark key. Huge. Just got myself a dark key. Time to open the chest. Here we go. <laughs> Dark chest. Massive. Ah, uh, nine points left. Sorry, nine tasks left. Just unlocking the last mushroom tree. And then I also need to mine like 50 iron ore. Especially when you burn nine logs at once. Oh my god. Hmm, okay. 1kc Tomafire. Wow, that's going in the... That's going in my hands. That's very cool. Hehehe. <laughs> oh man, it's been a bit of a grind, but we're one task away from the next area and only a thousand points off tier 5. Now let us unlock Asgarnia as the second choice. Yes, sir. Right, we've got so much. Become a mushroom. 
I reckon we do like the easy ones because those are the ones that like I leave until the end and then like I'm just so lost you as like, to. Well, you leave them to the end and it's like, why am I doing this for 10 points? Yeah. Let's just knock them out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he's finally got it. Big news. That's how dry, I mean, how wet were you for that? I was 41. Extreme. It's finally over. Got a little bit lost, but we've unlocked Asgonia and now it's time to crack out all the tasks in a reasonably uh, logical order. So we've made this kind of like paste bin for the Asgonia route. We're going to start by prepping a red berry pie and then just crack out all of these tasks. Should give us like an hour or two hours to do plenty of stuff and get lots of points. So yeah. Yeah, you never know. You can never have too many dragon longs. Craft an own. Fantastic. Uh, pick up all your like necklace molds and shit while we're here. Because oh. like, this is unlikely ever going to need to come back to this place. So. Right, you'll pick up my molds, right? I see. I'll pick up all your I didn't realise it was just going <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was that, to be honest. Oh, okay. There's a 10. And that, my friends, is 50 smithing. Massive boost to the stats. 900 total. Yahoo! I have just got 55 magic, which means I can cast High Elk. I'm going to cast it on my d -schlong for a nice 6 DK cash. Doesn't matter because I have 105 in the bank. So I'm absolutely chilling. We are now on our way to complete Doric's quest and do a bunch of stuff in Tavoli involving picking flax to make bows uh killing just stuff in Tavoli dungeon is just free points here is Doric's quest completed with some mining boost up to 37 big waka waka <laughs> superhuman improved reflexes there we go 10 points now we're off to kill black demon watch this absolutely huge brain Oh my god. This is insane. Look at the oh my god. head on this man. Oh, you've hit this one, you little rat. <laughs> it was already hit when I got here. That's bullshit. He's already tagged on. I'll just swirl yours. around and hit yours. Marigold's ready. Oh, you'd love to see it. <laughs> it's our contract. Yep. 560 points left until the next relic, which is kind of a big one because. It means you can access all, if I pick the clue relic that gives loads of stuff for clues, I can access a load of tasks that are kind of been inaccessible so far. And it also means you get like a points multiplier, an XP multiplier over what you already have. So that's kind of big. I'm just going to do, yeah, some smithing, uh, what, well, dye this cape first. There we go. And then we're going to smith up some various stuff because just some junk tasks that need doing. Grim pickaxe, big, another 40 points. So I've arrived here at Lovakench Favor, and apparently I just don't take damage from these. It must be because of the melee relic. Um, a, a perk of the brawl, well, brawl's resolve is that you're immune to all status effects, and I guess these guys are actually a status effect. So this is just going to be amazing, the AFK, and I don't even need this food. There's a few tasks for making various bits of jewellery, like uh, Ruby Amulet and, uh, I don't know, I think Ring of Jeweling as well. So just going to do those, and I'm also going to make some games necklaces to make it easier to get to Winter and other places. Well, that's a couple of pieces of jewellery made for an extra 80 points. Really close to the next tier right now. Just done a cheeky Fally Lap for another 40 points. It turns out that picking Asgonia, Corend, and Mauritania is just horrible for game runes. It turns out that this bad boy zombie here has a 1 in 5 chance to drop 5 cosmic runes, which I desperately need to enchant these game's necklaces. Also abusing the power of the Tome of Fire now that I've just hit 59 magic for Fire Blast. Right, I've completed all my Karamja diary. 
normally this would go on farming or herb lore, but to be honest, I just want to get off the floor with all my stats, so it's going on range. Not sure how much XP it's going to give me, or, well, 8k XP or something. 25. 1000 total, 40 points. Base 5, 10 points, and base 10, 10 points. Oh, new best in slot gloves, Karamjet. That's 40 points, mate. As soon as you get, like, all your skills kind of off the floor, the medium tasks just start rolling in. I am just 30 points away from the fifth tier of the relic. It is coming up to the end of day one. Finally, I can unlock my next relic. We have the option of Treasure Seeker for Clue Scrolls, Bloodthirsty for a Slayer, or Infernal Gathering for all the production skills based off of gathering skills. We're going for Treasure Seeker. Clue Scrolls have a flat 1 in 15 chance of being dropped, and of course they stack in leagues. Clue Geodes, Nests and Bottles from Fishing, Mining and Woodcutting are 10 times more common. <clears throat> all Clue Scrolls have the lowest number of steps possible for that tier. And then you get like a chance to re-roll Clue Scrolls and also get caskets within caskets. So yeah, we just have to go for this. At tier 5 you also get your league multiplier of XP from 8 to 12 times and your minigame points are boosted by 5 times. So it's 8 to 12 and 3 to 5 times, so that's a big upgrade. Now that I've gone from a 3 times to a 5 times favor multiplier, I'm going to read this, which should put me straight to 100%. Yes sir, massive. 80 points for that, that's actually huge. Clues have the minimum number of steps, which means all mediums have... Uh, Three steps because I've only got three regions they're all like actually restricted to quite a small area so the steps actually end up being quite close together didn't even realize just got 10 law runes from that beginner which means that's the first teleport on the account pretty cool It's the end of day one. Made it to tier five. I'm well off the pace of some of the big boys, but it's been so much fun. Um, total level is 1027. Don't mind if I do that. It's some range XP. 4.5k range. Stood up to 29 from 25. Anyway, it's the end of day one. Uh, we've unlocked the clue relic, which means tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun of questing, doing clues, trying to push for the next relic which is tier six where we get to choose between ruinous powers equilibrium and farmer's fortune um probably going to be ruinous powers but we shall see uh there's is right okay the drop rate goes up to four times but the xp rate doesn't tr uh, change gonna do a lot of afk melees try and go for the dragon defender tomorrow and i think that's the rough plan but yeah thank you guys and i shall see you later